Hey, I haven't been uploading in a bit. Now I'm trying to upload more. So let's make a currency system for no reason. So, let's get started. Inside the service group service, we're going to put a script. Because that's what you put there. Put anything else and watch what happens. Anyway, you put the script. We're going to name this currency uh, handler. Because I like putting handler at the end of everything. It makes me feel fancy. So let's do local money. Wait, a second. We have to do something. So let's do game.players.player added connect function. Horror. So basically, when the player joins, I'll run whatever code is in here. So all we have to do is add a little money value. So we're going to do local money val equals instance.new int value because I made a video all about those, so I'm not going to explain too much into it. But an int value is basically just, you can store numbers, but you can't store decimals. A number value, you can store decimals as well as numbers, but we're not going to be doing change with this system. Change sucks. Put a little comma, and we're going to put player. Basically, you can put a second, uh, I don't know, I don't, I forgot what you call it, parameter. So the parent will be the player, instead of us doing moneyval.parent. So we'll do a uh, local, no, not local, we'll do moneyval.name equals money so now we have money inside of our character we'll do money val dot value equals zero so when you join and you play the game i mean you go to your player and you'll see inside of your players uh, our, 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 our games you'll see there's a money value and it's pretty accurate to how much money I have right now so let's fix that but before we can fix my very sad bank account we need to make a way for the player to receive money so we're gonna go into replicated storage we're gonna add a remote event we're gonna name it give money because we're gonna be fancy in today's video so inside of this script we're going to add our local remote event. Why'd I say it like that? Local event equals game dot replicated storage dot give money. And then we're going to do event dot on server event connect function. And we're going to do or I will do player. We'll do player and amount. And over here, we'll fix these. Let's name these player too. Because I'm being lazy with puller. Alright. So we'll just do player dot money dot value plus equals amount. Alright, so if you play test after adding that little give money thing, we can do game dot replicated storage dot money actually dot give money by your uh, server. And we'll just put them out. So let's give ourselves a hundred dollars. You can see we'll say this. And if you go to players, arcade games, you'll see money. I have 100. And if we go to the server and check a look, I have 100 there as well. So everything works. Now we just need to add a way to give the player money. So let's just test it. We're going to use the client. We're going to add a screen GUI. We're going to name this just... Actually, we're going to keep it screen GUI because I'm probably going to remove this. Make a better one. We're just going to add a text button. We're going to name the button Give Money. And we're going to insert a local script. We're going to add the event. So local event equals game dot replicated storage dot give money. And uh, local button equals script dot parent. So we're going to do button dot uh, mouse button one click connect function. And then we're going to fire that event, fire your server. And this is our amount. So we're going to do 100. Actually, better yet, we could just do amount and we'll just add the amount here. So local amount equals 10, uh, 15 maybe. You know what? No, I'm fixing my bad wallet. I'm gonna give myself like $30 per click. 3,000 is a little too much. It's gonna crash the economy. 
So if we go in here, we can give money. So I clicked it. And if I go to my player's backpack, I have $90, $120, $150, $180. I can just keep giving myself $30. That's pretty cool. Let's make a UI for it because this ain't going to cut it. So we're going to keep the money giving button just so we can, you know, give ourselves cash. And we're going to add a little UI. So we're going to add a screen UI. We're going to name it UI. We're going to add a frame. We're going to then put a text label inside of that frame. And let's just, so let's scale it to look like this. Let's change the background color to be a little bit darker. And let's scale this little money thing to be the same size. We'll change the uh, money, like the text label, to background transparency. We'll set that to one. Uh, we're gonna name the. Hmm. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. So we have our text label. We have our frame. Let's change the frame to have a uh, round corner. So let's add UI corner. Make it. Uh, Zero point five. Ah. Uh, okay. I'll be fine. For this tutorial our text level we're going to change text scaled I'm gonna shrink it a little bit make sure it fits inside of the box or whatever this is it used to be a box it's more like a sausage now uh, you can change the font to be whatever you want honestly I'll do some like really ugly random font. actually I kind of like this font we'll change the text color to be hmm I'll make it green and now all we need to do is add some code to refresh this. So we'll add a script inside of here, inside the money UI what? local script, and we'll just do local text equals script dot parent dot frame dot text label, and we'll do local money equals game dot players dot local player dot money. And then we'll do money get raw pretty change signal value to connect the function. And we'll do text.text text equals money equals hmm, money with a space, two dots, and money dot uh, value. And then we'll also just take this code and put it at the top so when the script runs, it will grab the uh, money. And yeah, this should just fix it. So when we play our game, our money is zero. And every time we give ourselves money, it goes up. So yeah, that's a pretty simple, I don't know, that's the first part. We need to spend the money. So we can just do the same exact thing. We can make another event and we're going to emit take money so inside of our little currency handle oh yeah these you don't want to leave scripts named like this I'm just I'm being dumb let's just do money refresh handler and for this one we could just name it give money button just because it's it's bad practice to leave your scripts unnamed inside of here we can add local take event equals game that replicated storage shot take money and we can copy this code and we'll just change this to uh, take event and we'll do play that money minus equals amount instead of plus equals we can give ourselves like 300 bucks and we can do game that replicated storage that take money uh fire server and we're going to remove 250 of those dollars and as you can see we can remove money so now spending is pretty easily Sp spending's pretty easily what okay so say this cube right here was i don't know a solid block of gold because why not we could just make it so we'll put a little like script inside of it and we'll add a uh, proximity prompt and we'll put that script aside the proximity prompt. We'll do a uh, buy golden cube. <laughs> and our proximity 
Actually, let's name the part Golden Cube as well. Okay, okay. So we're gonna do local prompt equals script parent local take money event equals game dot duplicated storage that take money. And then we'll do prompt dot triggered connect function and we'll get our player. So we'll do player and we'll do if player dot money dot value is greater than for example like 100 because it oh greater than not less than greater than 100 then print you're not broke else print you're broke so if we try to buy this cube right away we, we don't have 100 dollars, so it should print we're broke and i did a capital m on that money so let's fix this player of that money that value that should be a little bit uh i don't know my brain's not functioning right now okay so i'm broke i can't afford this but if i have 100 you're not broke so there we go that's basically the, the i think you're seeing this it's making sense now hopefully and since we were able to access the player's money through here we can just do instead of so that firing the event is really good for like the button you know we have the button but we don't need the like as you see we're already on the server so like we're not going to overcomplicate things we could just remove money right here so we're going to do player dot money dot value minus equals 100 and we'll do script dot uh, parent dot parent destroy so we script dot parent dot parent would be the golden cube so we can now purchase this cube so we are we're too broke for it but if we press this a few times we have enough money and money is not oh my god what is with me in the maybe i should have made a capital because you know i really like spelling this in a capital i don't know i like capitalizing that m for some reason even though i type in camel case so we go and buy this golden cube i purchased it and now i'm broke i have no money again just like real life so yeah that's a pretty simple way to like do like a simple currency system it doesn't save but i'll do a tutorial about saving like really soon maybe tomorrow because i'm kind of tired right now i'm just adding one more thing so like say you want to do like take golden cube you could just go into this script because i just duplicated the golden cube you can remove this uh else uh, actually we don't need any of this we can remove all this we can add plus equals like 300 so the cube is 300 and yeah if we go into our cube this one costs money this one will give you money and you can buy this one so yeah uh i'm kind of a moron this uh take money event you actually don't need this in here we wouldn't even be able to use this so you can remove that but yeah this is i keep saying but yeah but yeah, <laughs> this is a very simple uh, money system. I don't know, there's a lot you can do with it. It's not pretty. You're supposed to be better than me, so. Yeah, customize everything, make things work really well. This is just to teach you the basics. So have a good day. Uh, yeah, don't waste all your money like me.